for sure. I mean, and I think I think it's one of those things. That's why it's kind of funny when you say like growth hacking is it in, is growth hacking out? I think that ultimately that ultimately there's kind of a universal truth of how growth works. And we're all we're all making incremental progress and figuring out figuring that out. And of course it's not exactly the same in every business. So it's it's kind of how it works in general and then how it works specifically for each of the individual um, businesses, but that once you once you figure those things out, that yeah, I mean it, it, it's definitely it, it's a huge part of what we teach in our in our Go Practice uh, simulation course. But not surprisingly, it would be an important part of what they teach in Reforge or anyone who's teaching growth. That there's you know we're all honing in on these kind of universal truths. I was gonna actually. Uh, reference one company that kind of got those pieces right um, on a on a podcast I'm actually publishing tomorrow, which is um, HubSpot. I actually spotted from the outside when HubSpot nailed it. I, um, I, I had been an individual investor in HubSpot pre-IPO um, through uh, an acquisition that they made of a, of a company that I'd been advising. So I had advisory shares in that company and then, um, and then they rolled into HubSpot shares. And so I rode HubSpot for a little while and sold it and, and then kind of just watched the business for a while. And then one day I looked at it and said, oh my God, I see how this all fits together. And it was essentially when they, when they shifted to a freemium approach to where, to where I saw, oh, this is going to be so disruptive to, to the CRM space in how they had a really valuable free product that wasn't just a kind of, um, I'm going to make it free. It's not as good as the other ones, but it was actually better than the premium costs of a lot of these others because they, they automated a lot of the data collection that, that built out profiles on people. And so I started to look at just all these pieces coming together and I'm like, I see where they're going with this and I think this will be huge. And so that was in 2017, November, 2017. And I made the biggest public market investment that I'd made in a really long time in the business. Sent a note to Darmesh Shah, the, the founder of the CTO and founder of the business and said, Hey, I just see the elegance of, of your model and how this all fits together. And, uh, want to let you know, I just got back in after selling out in the past. I'm, I'm excited about this and, uh, and, you know, congrats on, on getting here since that point the, their, their stock is well over a thousand percent up. But I think that just sort of shows like the, the example of that inflection of like, um, yeah, I could have been wrong and I've been wrong plenty of times, but I'm at least deep enough in that business and it had worked in, in that space and in other related products as well to where I said, I, I really, based on my understanding of the market, based on, on my own needs, based on the needs that I see out there, I think they're, I think this is the final piece that really nails it for them and, and, uh, and their, their revenue and, and stock price and everything else has really followed suit from there. So I, I think you can, you can sometimes take it down to, down to an inflection point, but again, the, the decision is rarely random. The decision is something that it's like, that's the last piece that you got right. And all the other pieces now are working in concert and you've got a model that you can now pour fuel on.